Overview of the Temporary Residence Category The Temporary Residence Category consists of four major classes. First, the Visitor Class includes six programs which include Multiple Entry Visa, Single Entry Visa, Transit Visa, Electronic Travel Authorization or ETA, No Visa, and Super Visa. Second, the Students Class includes three programs which include Study Permit, No Permit, and post-graduation work permit program. Third, the workers' class includes four programs which include Temporary Foreign Worker Programs, TFWP, International Mobility Program, IMP, Francophone Mobility, and Global Skills Strategy, GSS. Fourth, the Temporary Residence Permit Holders Class, or TRP class, has two programs which include TRP for Entry, and TRP for remaining in Canada. Moreover, we cannot ignore the importance of temporary residence to permanent resident pathway programs that the government announces from time to time. Since these temporary policies are announced for a short period of time and have no fixed programs therefore, we will encourage you to constantly check the government website for updates. What is a temporary resident status? As the name implies, Temporary residents can enter Canada temporarily for temporary purposes, which could be visiting, studying, or working, or after obtaining a temporary resident permit. Further details about these four types of temporary residents will come up one by one in the next videos. According to IRCC, more than 35 million people come to Canada temporarily every year. Once you meet the requirement for admission to Canada temporarily, you will get a visa counterfoil document on your passport to show to the airlines and slash or transit officials to allow you to enter Canada. What is a visa? A visa is an official document issued by Canada's foreign missions, which is usually stamped or blued inside a passport, giving you permission to enter Canada. The visa counterfoil is just for entry, it has no other value. You should enter Canada before the expiry date of the visa. Since a visa neither guarantees your entry to Canada nor gives you status therefore, you should still have and carry the proof with you at the time of entry to Canada that you still meet the requirement. Upon entering Canada, a temporary resident should report to the Canada Border Services Agency, CBSA, and must establish that they have a visa, meaning they meet the requirement and that they have the ability and willingness to leave Canada by the end of their authorized stay. Duration of stay. Once you are allowed to enter Canada, you are automatically allowed to remain in Canada for up to six months, or otherwise up to the duration specified on your passport by the CBSA officer. At a non-automated point of entry, the Border Services Agency will write a specific duration on your passport, with or without the entry stamp. This will become your authorized period of stay. If nothing was written on your passport, you can stay for a maximum of six months in Canada. If you also obtained a permit such as a study permit or work permit, you could only stay in Canada until the expiry of the permit. If you have a super visa, the authorized duration of stay is five years with the possibility of further extension for another two years at a time. 